Okay, before you get into Stable Diffusion, quick setup, you sign into Google. You click here to sign in. Once you're signed in, come in here and check on your storage. Make sure you have at least 10 to 15 gigabytes of RAM. And now you're able to start setting up Automatic 11 to launch Stable Diffusion on Google Collab. Copy the link in the description below. You'll come to this page. All you have to do is to click on all these arrow buttons one by one. Click on the first button, click on Run Anyway. Now you have this connect to Google Drive, click on connect Google Drive and then choose the Google Drive account that you have logged into and select it. Click on allow. Click on the next arrow button once this connect to Google Drive has a green tick. Then go on and click on requirements. Now basically in this page you are doing approximately like 5 to 6 clicks on this play button in sequential order. Alright, next one. That was done. Then control net. And then now the last one the sixth button which is start stable diffusion this will take the longest when you're doing this for the first time it will take quite some time to load but uh, subsequent launches will take uh, lesser time because they're downloading installing stable diffusion onto your google shared drive so subsequent launches will be faster roughly takes around i think four to five minutes all right we are connected and you can see here there's a url here just click on this you open up a new tab and it shows you the stable diffusion and we can start generating stuff now let me just do one right and click on generate and that's it we have it stable diffusion set up lastly when you're done remember to come back to the google collab page click on this top arrow button here and click on disconnect and delete runtime very important because if you do not disconnect this will keep running and you will keep eating up your compute units do this every time you run a session disconnect and delete runtime so i'm going to disconnect and delete runtime now and click on yes and once there's a reconnect here it means you have disconnected to double check click on manage sessions and make sure you have no active sessions so nothing is running and you won't waste any compute units